How are we doing guys, girls, non-binary pals? We have something special to share and I, being the professional that I am, have just put it out of reach so I'm trying to get it while stalling. Yes, there we go. So, I have got two, count them, ooh, holographic-y and holographic-y. Um, being a resident um, millennial queer on the interwebs, I obviously had to get Secret Layer the gay. Now, I believe it's called Pride Across the Universe. There we are, yeah. <clears throat> Pride Across the Multiverse, obviously, because, you know, Magic the Gathering. And then I also got this, because I always get my secret layers in twos, because the postage is quite expensive, especially in the UK, and you get free postage um, if you spend over a certain amount. So I, I will always stagger them. Hence why I'm getting the uh, Pride Across the Universe one so late because obviously they've then waited for this to come out and so these ones already been out for a while so I've had to see people open theirs and it's been torturous oh oh I like that we've got a a gay box it'd been cooler if it was like a rainbow but I won't complain it's got like a gay sleeve um and then we just have some gay cards <laughs> I'm gonna stop saying that so, um, big disappointment there, I got Sahili um, as my bonus card, which uh, I'm pretty certain really the only one of these stained glass ones, obviously like the Khan is good, um, the, uh, oh my god I've forgotten her name, the, the elven lady, the green planeswalker who's super, Nissa? Yeah, Nissa, Nissa who shakes the world with her giant dummy thick forest making powers is one to hit so that's that's cool it looks nice um i kind of wish that pop uncommon planeswalkers were more of a thing and then we could get like i don't know some kind of push for them to be legal as planeswalker commanders for pauper edh but i mean like this one's decent enough because her passive is quite strong like anyway um enough about that that's, that's just my random throwaway card Pringling on that is pretty bad. So let's just crack into these. Um, I completely forgot like, what all of these are. I mean, the big one I remember is the Mana Confluence, the, um, the Signa, sorry, the Soul Ring, obviously, were big ones. And then obviously, uh, Bearscape. So we have here, um, let's get rid of this stupid pro, uh, bonus card that's like Pringled. These, though, um, haven't. So, if, if, of all the things to Pringle, I'm glad it was the throwaway bonus card. Um, we've got a Triumphant Reckoning, which is really nice. Let's save the moment, take an extra turn, but skip the unstep step. I do. Um, we've got Alicia, who smiles sh at death. She smiles. Sh uh, history is one hand reaching out to another. Ah, there it is. It's the bear escape. That is gorgeous. I love how, like, the men are matte while the water is foil. That's gorgeous. Also notice the, um, in the background there. Oh, not there. It's here, this one. What you can see is, like, you know, um, scars, maybe. In the background. What, I believe, I can't even see it now. I'm trying to look for the, way, the viewfinder and my camera. You know, trans man. <laughs> Um, Collective Voyage, which I don't even know this card. It's one green, and it's starting with you. Each player must play any other mana in the midst of it. That's... Hey, hey, we're going to play EDH, but we only got 50 minutes. I love this one, personally. Um, there she be, there she be. Um, with a little... That's the Felidar, Sov um, Felidar Familiar, I think? In her hands, that's cute, and we got a dinosaur. It is interesting that sh that, yeah. Whenever a player taps a land, oh, heart, yeah, heartbeat springs, <laughs> and then we've got oh, these two. Um, the soul ring, which I'm kind of sad that my five colored deck doesn't use the soul ring because it's my like prize baby, but it's just not going to go in, so I don't run it. This, on the other hand, though will probably go in my dragon deck. Maybe my partner's five colour deck, if they like the aesthetic a lot, because, you know, they are playing an aesthetic sort of build. Um, and then we have Sahili, which 
it is whatever. It's a few quid. It's I like the I like like this card both aesthetically and but look at that. Like that's not acceptable, wizards. It's not. Like it's just completely and you then you gotta like bend it out and then you just feel like a mug. Um But these are at least aesthetic, so I don't wanna like move any of these. And then we have and this is flat, which I wasn't you know, I didn't expect that. And there's the holographic on it. And we have Secret Layer. Let's be real, this is <laughs> Secret Layer Mystic Remora. <laughs> I mean, I, I, am I wrong? <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Ooh, what the? What is this? It says, thank you for being part of Secret Layer. Oh, no, that is it. So it's like protective cardboard. Does this not come with a bonus card? What? So here we are, the Mystic Remora, um, just iconic EDH powerhouse. Um, one of the only two cards banned in Pauper EDH. Um, the one being Ristic Study. Um, obviously we've got the fish, and the, the very famous story about obviously Remora and the guy thinking that they meant a fish, hence the original art um, being the way it is. I actually, actually cannot remember any of the other cards from this because I bought it for the Mystic Remora. I don't have one, and I'm not too fond of the art, but I love the effect, and I really, really like this art. So what else did we get? Re oh, yeah, this was so strange. Like This is like a 20p um, uncommon from Aquaria. Like, it's a really cool card, but it's just such a strange, it's such a strange card to get in a secret layer. Um, burgeoning, that's really cool. Uh, whenever a point plays a land, you may put a land into play. That's quite strong. Again, um, you know, it goes well with Mystic Remora um, as just like a one pip card that's going to just generate so much value if you get it on curve. Um, and then, oh yeah, you... <laughs> Yeah, no wonder I had forgotten about, like, most of this stuff, because why is there a Utopia Sprawl? <laughs> this is, what, this is, I feel a fifth, a card behind this, so I believe this came with four. I think the whole point was, because I remember thinking it was weird how we had a green, is there no other blue enchantments that cost one, one? I'm assuming that must be it, because, like, we've got two green enchantments that cost green. Um... This is really cool. I, I, it, play, it gets played in formats I don't play, but the art is enough for me to have wanted it. Look at the bunnies and the fox and the... Oh, um, yeah, beautiful. Um, and then the last card is... Uh, Slither. I hate these. Um, like, I hate these a lot. I think these are very bad. Um, I think it's a toxic thing. Um, and I think wizards need to do better with um, bonus cards when you're doing something so premium and so like personalized as secret layers. Who is this for? And don't go like keyboard warrior and down in my comments like saying sliver players. Yeah, okay, obviously, but like that's such a niche. Like at least, at least like Sahili and the other planeswalkers, they're just like planeswalkers that could see play in deck. This is literally a tribal card. The meta tribal card is, the, you know, the more meta, um, the more tribal related than other types of tribes. Zombies can see play in other things. Zombies can, it can just be a card that is good and just happens to be a zombie. You know what I mean? Like the zombie tri is an afterthought. Card's good, but also is good in zo even better in zombie tribal decks. This for me, it, I, I hate it. I I hate it a lot. I got the the blue one in my last video when I opened the secret lab product, and I just don't get what was the like behind this because it just it just doesn't work as a bonus this isn't a bonus i i take no um joy in this i i w i've not got any of the other ones where they're like um you know i i can't even not describe them but they're almost like drawings of like ancient temples or ancient maps from a civilization and there's eldrazi monument and tangle wire and um uh, Pun Harmonicon and stuff were in that sort of treatment. And that subset of bonus cards I think are really cool. But this does nothing for me. I don't play Slithers. I don't like Slithers. But these are all really nice cards. Especially with like the Pride one. I'm really gutted 
that there wasn't a pride card like 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 i don't know what they could have thrown in but something else five color related like a fist of suns or i don't know a chromatic lantern or literally anything you know like i just think that throwing in a random stained glass planeswalker from war of the sparks with a um a, such a strongly themed cohesive like set of cards is just really just kind of like lackluster and unnecessary um so yeah big big down thumbs down for the the bonus cards uh, like even if i'd have got good ones that were like worth money like um you know nissa i still would have been like well no because it's it's a it's a it, it doesn't work for me on a conceptual level uh, especially for like something like Pride Across the Multiverse, but like the actual cards, I basically bought this because I wanted Remora and then just all of these to keep. And I'm gonna struggle separating them now because they're just like a little set that I want to just have. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed these. Have you picked up any secret layers? Did you pick up any secret layers? Have you kind of drifted off them, or are you more like me where you didn't like them originally but have grown to like them now and? You know, is there anything that you missed? Like, for me, I, I really wish that I had um, bought into the OMG kitties and the Year of the Rat secret layers from the first, like, waves. Because those cards are all gorgeous and they're so expensive now to buy. Like, OMG kitties was, like, $30, $40 and to buy sealed is now, like, triple digits. We're talking hundreds of dollars. And that's an outlier. Most of them don't... Um, retain that kind of value especially the modern ones but uh, i've rambled on far enough so again thank you for watching um and i'll see you in the next one